Thank you for your interest in the Remark Office OMR software. During this demonstration, you will learn how Remark Office OMR can be used to process and grade plain paper exams. Part 3 of this demonstration will focus on Remark QuickStats. Remark QuickStats is the built in analytical tool that comes with all of the Remark products. This contains two options for grading EasyGrade and the Grade Wizard. We will begin with the EasyGrade feature. EasyGrade is a quick way to grade a test using predetermined constraints. When you use EasyGrade, Remark QuickStats uses the first row of data in the data grid as an answer key and grades the data based on the software's default grading options set in the Remark QuickStats preferences. EasyGrade uses parameters set in the form template to control grading, such as how many points to award and whether to display a question's data as an analysis respondent ID on reports. As you can see, the first row of data in this data set represents our answer key. EasyGrade will use this information to grade the data based on the software's default grading options. To begin grading this information, we can simply select the EasyGrade button from the toolbar. This will launch Remark QuickStats where the available reports will be displayed. We can choose to report on the test itself, the class, or individual students. I have changed my default settings to display the student statistics report upon launching EasyGrade, but you are welcome to choose whichever report you prefer. The student statistics report displays the grades for the entire class. Each student can optionally be identified by the analysis respondent ID region if desired. In this case, the student names were taken from our Excel database. Students are listed on the left side of the report and then the grade, objective, and subjective scores are listed for each student. Next, we will take a look at the condensed item analysis report. This report displays an in-depth look at individual question statistics. The question text or question name, if no question text was defined, is displayed at the top of each table. A bar chart is displayed to the right of the table containing the statistics. The green value bar represents the correct responses, while the red value bar represents the incorrect responses. If an incorrect response is chosen more than the correct response, its value bar is yellow. Before we take a look at some more reports, let's look at the second grading option available in Remark QuickStats called the Grade Wizard. While custom reports are not available in Remark Office OMR, the Grade Wizard allows you to customize some of the grading process. Items such as point values, grade scales, learning objectives, multiple answer keys, and benchmarks can be defined by using this feature. You may save an answer key containing all of your grading parameters for later use. The Grade Wizard is also useful if you wish to use generic form templates but apply different answer keys for various tests. For example, you can have a generic 50 question answer sheet, but set up different answer keys based on the subject being tested. To access the Grade Wizard, we can select the Grade Wizard button from the toolbar. This will launch Remark QuickStats, but instead of accessing the reports immediately, the Grade Wizard Getting Started window will appear. The first thing we will want to select is the checkbox for this test contains one or more learning objectives. Learning objectives allow you to create subsets of questions on which to base the grade operation in addition to the test as a whole. We will define these objectives in a few moments. Next, we will want to set a benchmark for the overall exam. In this case, we have set the benchmark to 75%. This score is the score students are expected to achieve on the overall test in order to be considered proficient. Students' comparison scores to the defined benchmark appear on select reports. By clicking Next, we can continue through the Grade Wizard. The Answer Key window appears next, which allows us to enter an answer key. Since the first row in our data set is our answer key, we can select Grid Row as the available answer key source and Get Key. This will automatically fill in the answer key based on the row of data we chose. Once our answer key has been defined, we can then modify the properties for our test questions. The Grade Wizard initially uses any values that were defined in the Form Templates properties, but we can override that information here. We can even choose not to grade questions or adjust their point values. The Learning 
objectives window will allow us to set up our different subsets of questions. These subsets of questions will be graded in addition to providing a grade for the overall exam. We will start by entering world leaders for the name. We will define our first group as world leaders. Once this objective has been added, we can then select the questions we want to include. For world leaders, we will select questions 1 through 10. Our second objective will be given the name of historic events and will include questions 11 through 20. Underneath the various learning objectives, we can see that there is an option to define a benchmark value. If we select this, we can set an expected score for the objective. We will change this one from the default of 75% to 80%. Now we will need to define an overall grade scale. Rather than having a grade scale with plus and minus options, we will change this to the default scale. This will include grades A through F only. In the custom header window, we have the option to define a header for our reports. Headers allow us to customize titles and add graphics if desired. We will skip this step for this demonstration. Finally, we come to our review selections window. Here we will want to review our information for accuracy. Every question is listed, allowing us to make changes if needed. We may use this window to make changes to answer choices, graded questions, learning objectives, respondent identifiers, and point values. Once we have reviewed all of our selections, we can then finish using the grade wizard. You will be prompted to either save your answer key or continue without saving. If you wish to use the same answer key at a later date, it is recommended that you save this file. The Remark Quick Stats window will appear, allowing us to choose a report to generate. The student statistics report will display again by default. Since we used the grade wizard to define two learning objectives, we will now have three pages in our report. The first will still show an overview of each student's grade, objective, and subjective scores. The second page will show this information, but for the first learning objective we set up, labeled World Leaders. This objective contained questions 1 through 10 and was given a benchmark value of 75%. For this objective, we can see that only three students did not meet the benchmark defined. The third and final page shows all of our statistics, but for the second learning objective, which we labeled Historic Events. This objective included questions 11 through 20, and the benchmark was increased to 80%. Based on the report, we can see that students struggled more with this area of the exam. Knowing what we do now, we can go back and review this information with the students and see exactly where the problem areas are. Finally, we will generate the student grade report. The student grade report provides a detailed grade report for each student included in the grade operation. You may print these reports and give them to your students or to their parents. The report provides a summary of the student's answers and grade information from the test. If a benchmark score was defined using the grade wizard, you may include a bar chart depicting the student's score along with the benchmark. If learning objectives were defined using the grade wizard, you will see scores for each learning objective as well. Incorrect responses are highlighted in yellow. If subjective questions are included, they are highlighted in orange whenever full credit is not awarded. If extra credit questions are included, they are highlighted in blue. An image of the test can optionally be included in each student's report. There are several other test grading reports available in Remark Quick Stats. These include a comparative grade report and demographic grade report for viewing test scores across various demographics, class frequency distribution report, test statistics report for descriptive statistics, student response report for viewing student and question performance in a color-coded matrix, four variations of item analysis, which can include graphs and bar charts, test item statistics report, cross-tabulation report, and a response report by item or respondent for open-ended questions.
Reports can be exported to other formats so that they may be viewed by others who do not use Remark QuickStats. Export formats include PDF, HTML, Excel, TIFF, text, and rich text formats. Grade results can be exported to maintain student information and track progress in an outside program. These programs include gradebooks, student management systems, learning management systems, and more. Thank you for taking the time to watch this demonstration of the Remark Office OMR software. We hope that this video is helpful in your evaluation of the software. A free demo download is available for testing purposes. We recommend that you review all of the form design guidelines prior to printing and distributing any forms. A number of sample forms are provided for you, but if you would prefer to create your own, you can submit your design for review by our support team. Training videos for Remark Office OMR can be found on the support page of the Gravig website. The full documentation, including the user's guide for Remark Office OMR, is available to you in PDF format. Please feel free to contact the Remark support team with any questions regarding the use of Remark Office OMR. For information on licensing and pricing, please contact the Remark sales team. We welcome you to follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and YouTube so that you can receive the latest news on the Remark products. Thank you for your interest in the Remark Office OMR software.